Hey guys, welcome back to Deb's Journey. I'm Deborah, and I'm gonna show you what's for dinner today. I'm gonna show you the recipe. It's pretty simple. You've probably already made it at home, but here's my there's my Alex back there. So we're having um, like jalapeno poppers, but instead of just the um, just the cheese inside we're um i'm gonna i'm cooking up some ground turkey we don't eat ground beef around here just because um sorry um i i like my stomach can't stomach it for some reason i don't know like i have a hard time eating ground beef like i always feel sick afterwards does anyone else ever experience that i mean i eat other kinds of beef and it's always fine like i eat hamburgers and Fajita, but I can't just eat ground beef for some reason. I don't know. So I'm seasoning with a little bit of garlic salt, and I'm just browning this meat. Um, I always um, cook my meat before seasoning it. I don't know if anybody else does that. It's just the way that I've always done it, and it always comes out perfectly seasoned. But as you can see here, I'll show you in a second, this meat is perfectly browned. And I'm going to let it cool down just for a little bit. I'm adding as much seasoning needed to get it a good flavor. Alright, so uh, what you're going to need is one bar of Philadelphia cheese and one cup of pepper jack cheese. And the meat I, is about a pound and a half. Right now that the meat is hot, I'm going to add in my cream cheese. Let that mix in. It's going to cool down just a little bit since the cream cheese is cold. And then I'm going to add my pepper jack cheese. Um, I always like to do it to where it doesn't melt completely into the meat. It's just the way I do it. You do it however you want to. Alright guys, this is what it looks like whenever it's all mixed together. And now we're going to um, stuff our peppers. I'm going to put on my oven at 400 degrees. Have my peppers, I have my bacon, and I have my filling over here. And so my lovely assistant, Melissa, my sister, sister she got these ready for me. So you're just gonna get some of your stuffing your meat mixture and shove it in there. So I made it a lot harder on myself and I didn't <laughs> grade um, the cheese and it was kind of hard to, to mix it in there but so make sure that you um, grade your cheese. My bacon is all broken up I guess because it's so thin, but you'll want the thin bacon and not the thick cut only because uh, the thin cut gets nice and crispy versus the thick cut in the oven takes a lot longer to cook in my opinion, um, in my experience rather. Um, and so this bacon, I always get the cheap bacon, <laughs> the cheap thin bacon because that always works the best for me. That's a pro tip from Deborah. See, this is not pretty, but it's gonna look, it's gonna be amazing, I promise. All right, they are fully wrapped. They didn't look very pretty, but like I said before, they're gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna stick them in the oven for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees. See you in a minute. See you in 40 minutes, actually. While I'm here uh, waiting for my jalapenos to be ready, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about our house hunting and how it's going and um, what we've experienced and versus what what we didn't know we wanted versus what we know now and what we actually want. And so um, coming into this, we didn't know um, exactly what we wanted. We, or rather, I thought that I wanted, you know, 
this uh, humongous house <laughs> really because we've always uh, as a married couple we've always had very a uh, very small living space uh, we've lived here in this house about six years and if you've if you've seen my other videos you'll see that it our house is super small like it's really small I don't know the square footage but um, like it's just the living room that's behind the camera here and then this space right here in our, our kitchen which is very small um, our little bathroom over there and then it's a two bedroom so um, and both of the rooms are pretty small so anyway um, we oh, we've been feeling a little claustrophobic here in this house just because you know like for example I have this here excuse the mess I again I haven't fixed it yet because we just went through the whole week of craziness but um so you know I, I had to buy this so that I can be able to put my appliances on and um, my mom gave me some pots and pans for Christmas which I really needed but I don't have any room in my cabinets over here to put them in so I put them over here and then I have like chips that I buy on Amazon and you know what I'm saying like just things that that I mean is needed I mean I don't think I just have things that I don't need because I use a lot of this stuff pretty regularly you know because I do love to cook and of course I bake and stuff and so I use this stuff pretty regularly but I had to buy another shelf which is fine it's fine um, but nonetheless like my kitchen is so small and um, our bedroom is so small and I need more room for my clothes and my shoes and um, we want to have a baby and so you know I feel like buying this house and getting a big enough house to be able to grow into um i think that that's going to be our way of stepping out in faith and believing that god is going to do that for us that this is going to be our year to to begin our family um, my husband and i have been married for 15 years and um, for one reason or another it just hasn't worked out for us you know for us to have a baby um, anyway, I know I'm rambling about about that, but it it, it really does. Um, it's a big part of, of why we're looking for a house, because uh, you know Alex and I and Melissa live here, my sister, and um, it's been fine with us three. You know, um, except for the bathroom. Sometimes it's like we all need to go at the same time. It's kind of like uh, we're all dancing around, waiting for each other to get out of the bathroom, but. Um, but it's been fine, you know, it's it's not like a big deal or anything. It's we have a small living quarters, but nonetheless, we've been, we've made do, right? I mean, 6 years later, we're we're not you know, we're still married and we have we still have a good relationship with my sister. So, it hadn't been it, it wasn't that bad, right? Anyway, so um but buying this house is the next step. Um the next step in in our faith in God and knowing that we're gonna we're gonna start a family soon you know so my um, my lady doctor that I went to go see a few years back she told me that um, everything seemed fine for me to have a baby um, but that she would like for me to lose weight so that I wouldn't be in high-risk pregnancy and um, she told me she would like for me to lose a hundred pounds and I've done that. I've lost 100 pounds. And so, um, I mean, of course I wanna lose more. Um, it's not like I'm done, you know? I still have a long ways to go, but anyway, I'm believing that this is gonna be the year for me to have a baby. And so, yeah. So now starts our, our house hunting. We've already seen how much that we can qualify for. And, um, how much uh, we want to, I mean, versus, because they give you this big number of how much you qualify for, and now we have to see, we did the numbers and everything to see how much uh, we could actually fit into our budget to see, you know, how much we can pay monthly. So like I was saying, before uh, starting this whole process, I, I was only looking up houses that are close to 3,000 square feet, and that's a lot, that's, that's a big house. That's a lot of house. And here in Texas, you can get a pretty big house for not too much money. 
um, but a lot of the houses that we were looking at and the ones that I was looking at online were all um, like older homes um, that have been re renovated that type of thing uh, we don't want to we don't want to have to renovate much in this new house that we buy because we've lived through renovations before and man they're a pain in the butt you know um, it's it's hard it's dusty it's um, some of them are so prolonged and and everything like that and we don't want to, we've lived through you know renovations that took two years two three years you know and and it was just like nobody could come back and finish the job and all this kind of stuff and anyway we just renovations has left a bad taste in our mouth you know because of just uh, the things that you know we we just don't want to live through that again and not to say that you know that's going to happen all over again but you know renovations are always hard to live through um just even if it's a quick job or whatever it's just dusty and not fun <laughs> anyway those of you who've gone through it you you understand and plus whenever you start renovating you often find other problems that uh, you didn't know were there and so it becomes a bigger problem and all of that anyway so we don't want to have to renovate and so um, my husband after you know talking to him and we both trying to see what we both want in a, a home uh, he says he doesn't want an older home he wants a new home something that's either freshly built or um, something that is not too old maybe just a few years old and um, I decided to oblige him in that and say okay let's let's do this you know let's uh, find a home that's newer and um, newer homes are smaller these days um, they're not so big and roomy like the older homes are but um, they're not sm the ones that we've looked at are not s small by any by any means but they're just smaller than the ones we were looking at and so um we knew we wanted a huge kitchen again for me <laughs> and my cooking and baking and stuff and i don't like to i have zero counter space you know um here in this house and i say zero but it's just minimal i have very small that's why even here i'm sitting at this table uh, I some, sometimes I use this table as you know uh, prep space you know for for you know baking and stuff like that and a lot of times I have stuff everywhere because if I'm trying to complete a big order you know for um, my keto sweets and stuff like that then I just have everything everywhere even though I try to stay as tidy as I can be um, it just um, just a very small space so I wanted a big kitchen I want a gas range uh, or at least um, to be able to buy a gas range and <clears throat> hook that up um, I want an island in the middle so that I can be able to have more prep space right um, and um, I want to buy a cooling rack um, and again these are my preferences these are things that I need and I want um, a cooling rack is, is like a big uh, stand. I'll try to put a picture right here for you. Um, um, so that whenever I have things coming out of the oven, I can just line it up and put it there. And that way I don't have to take up counter space and that kind of stuff um, when, when things come out of the oven. So I want that and that's going to take up space. And I, I, I just need, I need as much space as I can get without it being over you know over our budget so that's what I've been looking at these homes and they've all been beautiful homes and they've all been you know um, really you know some of the rooms are small some of the rooms are bigger but sometimes it'll have a tiny kitchen but then have the rooms the size rooms that we really want or have a really nice backyard um, but <clears throat> so coming into it that's what we wanted and that hasn't changed I want a big kitchen <laughs> with lots of counter space and I want a walk-in pantry. I haven't found that uh, yet in a home that has the other things that I that I want in it too. He also wants uh, one of the little, he wants the toilet to be shut off like with the door, you know, um, to have its, its own little private space. Um, I want lots of storage around the house to put up, you know, have like um, a linen closet. I don't have a linen closet now, so I just have you know my towels on a box in the middle of the little walkway that we have there um we have a medicine cabinet 
um, but it's small and it's filled with stuff and first I thought I wanted a huge house but now I just decided that I want it to be it doesn't have to be super big but I just want it to um, most of the space to be in the kitchen and in the you know I want there to be a nice area for dining and for entertaining um, yeah so that's really what I want and I'm showing you these clips now um, these houses have been really nice and and I'm sad that we haven't found it yet we haven't found the house yet um, we were gonna go a little higher in our budget but honestly we could afford it but I don't want to be so tight I've been tight in the past to where we're having to live you know paycheck to paycheck and I don't want to live like that anymore you know I want to be able to put money in savings and I want to be able to you know uh, bless other people and and you know be a blessing just to my family and and I can't do that if if I'm paying so much you know for for bills and all that kind of stuff you know and I just feel like it's not really worth it to me you know um anyway so that's my little update on my house um, on our house hunting and um we've gone to see i don't know how many houses now how many houses do you think we've seen about maybe 10 to 12. 10 to 12 houses yeah about 10 to 12 houses maybe um so we haven't found it yet we're gonna be um looking into some houses that are not built yet um that are in a few towns over and we shall see what we decide then and to see if it's something we can afford and something that we can comfortably pay and um this has been it's been hard you know trying to find things but it's also exciting it's also super exciting um i don't want to just make it seem like it's hard because it's it's super exciting and just for the fact that we're able to go look at houses and actually you know um consider them we like i don't know if i told you in the in the past in my other video but we've gone house hunting in the past but it's really like window shopping you know just seeing what was out there just seeing what you know just for the heck of it you know um knowing knowing that we couldn't afford anything but i praise god that now you know things have changed and again we already talked to the bank we already talked to or at least a lender and and budgeting and we're the ball is definitely rolling and oh my gosh i can't wait i can't wait for for this to happen we just sit and and talk about our new house and and we can't wait for this and we can't wait for that and we can't wait to decorate for christmas and we can't wait to have our family over and our nieces and nephews and i mean my nieces and nephews spend the night with us all the time like every other weekend if not you know um they're here and um even in this small little house but they've never complained about how small it is um I, we love having them over and um we just love love our family love having them here and um anyway so we talk about you know all the things that we want to do in our new home and and um it's just exciting it's an exciting time I think that's all as far as my house that I wanted to share. If you have any questions or if I missed something or if you're like, hello, Deborah, you didn't tell us about this, comment down below. What do you want to know? Um, we're an open book, like I told you before, you know, and I will get back to you whenever these peppers are out. Comment down below what it is that you want me to talk about next. I love sitting here and talking to you guys. Um, but again, I want it to be something you're interested in. All right. Let's go check these peppers. These look amazing. Let's try one of these suckers. They're gonna be so hot, oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, let's set this cool. If you saw my shirt and you're like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, so this is kind of like a, um, a reference to a show Alex and I watch all the time. Criminal Minds. I'm not the unsub. 
if you get it if you know you know watch the show it's so good it's kind of scary just because the criminal mind is so crazy and baby jesus all right let's let's give this a try i know i'm gonna burn myself but some things are just worth it you know while i wait um so we're just gonna eat these just like this i'll probably eat like three or four of these um and if you don't want to eat it just like this if you feel like you know uh, each one is about one and a half carbs one and a half to two carbs um is it i'll put i'll put the macros down below um i'm pretty sure it's about one and a half because i use whenever i made those texas twinkies those were about three carbs each and there were two halves of the cheetahs um together so so again if you want to eat it this as like just you know the main the main part of your meal and then you can eat it with some broccoli or some cauliflower or some green beans or you know any vegetables um squash or something go for it but we're just i'm being super lazy and it's sunday night we're gonna eat some of these for lunch tomorrow and I'm always excited when we have these for lunch because we love these, man. Look, look at the smoke coming off of there. <whistles> these are so good. I'm scared that it's okay. They're so good, like hands down, like one of my favorite things to eat. They're so good and so like, and then you have to have one with like something, like like a Coke Zero or <laughs> or Pepsi Zero, you know, to break down that fat that's in here. Perfect. Give this a try. Like this video. <laughs> Subscribe. Share with all your friends. Watch Criminal Minds because they're so amazing. Uh, by the way, my husband bought this bought this shirt for me for my birthday, along with another one and a few other ones. Some carb, some uh, not carb ones. Um, some keto shirts too. He's just silly, but um, and the shoes that I'm wearing too. Oh, I'm gonna show them like this. They're Vans, and they're so cute, and I love them. He bought me three pairs of shoes, actually, right? Mm -hmm. He bought me this. Th uh, all of them are the same type. They're the... They're the ultra range. He bought me white, gray, and blue. Anyway, that's all beside the point. I'm just talking. Subscribe, like this video. I will talk to you guys next time, and... We have more houses to see this houses to see. we have more houses to see we have more houses to see this week and um we'll update you guys join me on facebook because i think i'm gonna post my um like the little bits of houses on there um maybe even do um you know some smaller videos of just the houses that we go look at um so join me on there at um deb's journey dot tx i believe it is and um Hope to see you there. Comment on there. Nobody ever comments on my on my stuff as far as like my Facebook and stuff. So go post a recipe or look at my recipes or just talk to me. I'm here. Lots, you can ask me any kind of questions that you like about keto or our house hunting journey. So anyway, love you guys. Make this. Make these. They're so amazing. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.